Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will talk about eight common network troubleshooting tools: bot set, multimeter, toner and probe, keyboard tester, TDR, keyboard certifier, OTDR, and OPM. I start with bot set. Bot set is also known as Linesman's handset. It's mainly used to identify problems with voice lines. It can be used for monitoring lines, measuring noise, and identifying align faults. Multimeter is a commonly used tool for electricity. It can measure voltage to verify keyboard is conducting electricity. Check for the presence of noise, verify the amount of resistance is appropriate. It can be used to test for short or open circuits in the wire. Toner and a probe. Toner and a probe, they work together to identify the opposite ends of unlabeled keyboards. Toner is a tone generator which issues tone signals on a keyboard at one end. Probe is a tone locator, which emits a tone when the keyboard is detected at the other end. They are useful to label keyboards or identify a specific keyboard for troubleshooting in a telecommunication room. Network Keyboard Tester Network Keyboard Tester is a general term for all types of keyboard testing devices. Different manufacturers have different names, and the price range varies greatly from $20 to $10,000. Even more expensive testers are in the market. A simple keyboard tester can check for continuity, open, short, and crossed wire pairs. An advanced keyboard tester can have more features such as crosstalk checking, attenuation checking, uh, wire map testing, and so on. Time Doming Reflectometer, or TDR, is a keyboard tester with many advanced features which include continuity testing, wire map testing, length of a keyboard, location of brakes, and many more functions. TDR is a tool you must have if you troubleshoot keyboards in, in this field. Keyboard Certifier Keyboard Certifier is used to verify the keyboard meets its specifications such as the bandwidth and frequency. For example, it can verify if a Cat5 e keyboard can support 1 gigabits per second as it is expected, or the Cat6 keyboard can support 10 gigabits per second. Keyboard certifier can also detect a problem that reduces the keyboard capacity, such as crosstalk, attenuation, and interference. To troubleshoot a fiber keyboard, we have many types of tools, but here in this video, I would like to introduce only two, OTDR and OPM. OTDR is short for Optical Time Doming Reflectometer. OTDR issues lights of different wavelengths. Based on the return of light signal, OTDR can actually measure the length of the fiber. It can also determine the location of faulty splices, breaks, bad or mismatched connectors or bends. It can measure attenuation. OTDR is very expensive too, and it can cost easily from $4,000 to $30,000. OPM is short for Optical Parameter. It's also called 
laser power meter or light meter because it measures amount of light power transmitted on a fiber optic cable. Using OPM can be very easy, but it must be calibrated precisely following highly accurate optical power standards. Surrounding room temperature, connection type, and skills of a technician all affect the final test results. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.